YouTube, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I can't even lie, I don't normally say this, but we have an absolute banger video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be going over some of the absolute best drop spots on the new Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1 map. These are not going to be main, like, named POIs. These are going to be more low-key, subtle, maybe solo, maybe duo drops for some of these. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to show me some love. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. What is your favorite drop spot so far in Chapter 3, Season 1 of Fortnite? One of my favorite things about getting new areas of a map or new maps in general is kind of finding your spot, finding your go-to little drop spot, especially as maybe a solo player, maybe you and your duo. And this Chapter 3 map is absolutely full of spots. The first spot we're going to be landing at is this spot right here, kind of in the northern part of the map, is a random mansion that's kind of chilling up here low-key and honestly kind of reminds me uh, of the mansion from the Chapter 1 map where some of the superheroes... Uh, used to live. I'm gonna take you guys out front and we're gonna kind of work through this together. As you guys can tell, like off the rip, it's got a maze over here as well, kind of a bush maze. It gives off really a lot of the same vibes that that old mansion did, uh, again, on that chapter one map. But let's break this one down. Obviously, off rip, you can already tell it's got good mats. You're gonna get a lot of wood, a little bit of brick here. For starters, we got a chest spawn right here by the fountain. And you can already see, I mean, I have an MK7, I've got a pump shotgun. We've got med mist, and we haven't really even looted anything. We've got some fruit spawns here in the kitchen. We keep a total tally of our chest as well. Another chest above here. Another chest down below in the hot tub here. Purple SMG. Another chest in the corner here. Another chest up in the uh, in the attic. I'm not going to lie to you guys, of the of the locations we're going to be showing in this video, this is definitely at least in my top two uh, of my favorite solo drops on this new map. Not a lot of people here as well. I mean, I've been landing here a good little bit, and every now and again, you'll have one, maybe two people land here. But for the most part, it's usually just you, especially if it's a little bit of a stretch. we got some more chests out here in the, uh, the bush maze. Again, really good wood. I mean, you can come out of here with pretty much max wood. Another chest out here. But you can at least expect to find two or three chests out here in the maze and like four or five chests inside the house as well. And as you guys can see, I mean, we got really good loot. We got a green MK, green pump, a purple SMG, uh, and another chest spawns inside in, in the garage over here. A campfire spawn. Also, a vehicle spawn is here, so the rotations are nice. You can hop right in your vehicle uh, and, and get ready to go. I don't think I actually got to spawn this time, but there definitely is... Uh, a vehicle spawn that usually spawns right here. But without further ado, let's hop into the next one. All right, moving into location two. And also, obviously, there is not 100% chest spawns in the game right now. So for some of these locations, there may be less chest spawns when you go, or there may even be more. So just keep that in your mind when we're kind of going through these. But the second spot is a fan favorite. A lot of you guys know this spot. And they brought it back for the Chapter 3 map. And that's going to be Crack Shots Cabin. This spot can be found right south of Logjam Lumberyard, right on the set, the southernmost part of this uh, of the lake right here. And this is Crack Shots Cabin. It's got all kinds of different chest spawns. It's got the Christmas vibes to it. And it's a really good solo drop. Now, this one is a little bit more contested than others. Uh, and it's very quick. It's very quick loot. You hop in here, you open up a bunch of chests, and you're good to go. You're also really close to the location we're going to be showing you guys soon. Uh, which is a guaranteed llama every single time you drop there. But let's go ahead and break down Crack Shots Cabin. Right here, you got two floor spawns right off the rip. We got a shoddy and a shield. We actually got a really bad chest spawn. I think you can get up to three chests right here. We only got one. But regardless, we can go ahead and get rid of this pond water shotgun. You, might, you guys definitely never want to pick that up. It takes four lifetimes just to even reload it. Somebody actually just landed here? little bit of a late drop from my mans but going up top you get uh there you there can be up to two chests here there can actually be one that spawns here and one that spawns here as well the so total that is three chests i can spawn here two chests i can spawn here uh so that's already up to five chests here another little four spawn back there also you have the little side hut over here i'm not 100 percent, but i think a chest a chest spawn is there as well got a couple spawns out here you got a little fishing uh fishing pole spawn as well you got the quad crashers and a reboot van 
So overall, a really good location, again, especially uh, in solos. Next up, following up Crackshot Cabin, we're going to be showing you guys where the 100% llama spawn is. And it's going to be right in this cabin, right in the, the southern part of this little bend in the river. This is where the llama NPC spawns. And like I said, again, there is a llama here every single game. It doesn't have that many like gun spawns and chest spawns, but you do get that guaranteed llama. So it kind of makes it worth. This spot actually has been pretty contested. There's a lot of videos, a lot of creators making videos. So everybody kind of knows about this spot right now and a lot of people are coming for the llama as you guys can see it right here so keep that in mind when landing here i definitely would expect the fight more times than not i think i might be clear this time though so as you can see you got some fruit spawns uh there are again a couple gun spawns there's the npc there we're gonna try and take this llama out real quick and there we go we got the llama you get the guaranteed heals the minis the chug splashes the chili splashes the mats the ammo so this spot is more so going to give you everything but the weapons also for those of you that didn't know you can come over here to uh lieutenant llama and you can actually buy the boom sniper for 600 gold but that's about it for here i think there is one chest spawn that i think spawns right there but for the most part if you're going to land here you're coming here again for the llama you also quad crashers out front next up i'm going to show you guys one of my personal favorites i showed you b harps mansion earlier i'm now going to show you my second favorite solo drop spot and it is not shifty shafts it's little shifty shafts right over here in the desert biome all the way over here right to the west of this little lake it is indeed a smaller shifty shafts and it's very hidden obviously you don't see much on the map not many people know about this spot you do have the reboot van you see there also have a llama that spawned right up top you come underneath here and there are all kinds of different floor loot there's slurp cannons there's chests there's ammo spawns. There's a chest spawn over here in the corner. Floor loot spawns all throughout the bottom here. Another chest can spawn right here. We didn't get the spawn this time, but a chest can spawn inside there. More slurp barrels. Chest spawn over here in the southern area of it. More four spawns along like the little bridge areas here. You can expect usually around two, maybe three chests in here inside the main area, but you can also come outside and there's plenty of mats to farm around here as well. Plenty of wood, plenty of stone. There's a really good right outside here on the west side really good spot you can get a uh, a fishing pole there's a chest spawn inside this shack as well usually a lot of fishing holes i only think we only have maybe one or two this time but usually fishing holes all throughout here again a chest spawn in here but you guys can see from my loadout already i mean this is a really good spot i'm gonna leave the big shield because i'm not really too worried about it right now just trying to show you guys these spots but you can also rotate around the back side here and there's actually a, uh, a pretty nice little house over here on the corner as well. And this whole area is usually pretty uncontested. Good bit of floor loot spawns. There's some fruit. As you guys can hear, there's a chest on inside this back room right here. I think a chest can honestly spawn up in the attic as well. So you can expect at least a chest or two from this house. Also, as you guys can see right down here, right next to the house is a chest in the back of this boat as well. Along with another floor loot spot. This spot's honestly pretty insane, especially again for a solo player. Again, one of my favorite spots to land currently on this map. The next spot we're going to be showing you guys is actually Sunny Steps from Chapter 1 of Fortnite. This spot can be found right on the northeast side of Daily Bugle. And this one is a little bit more low-key than the Chapter 1 version of Sunny Steps. This one obviously is not named. A lot of people kind of skip over it and want to land at the Daily Bugle. The landing here is another, again, really good low-key spot. And it honestly has a ton of chest spawns, really good mats, really good wood, really good stone. And again, good rotations. You get to you get to rotate right into Daily Bugle if you want. You can see some kind of outskirt stuff. So you guys can loot over here as well. But landing here at the main pyramid, all kinds of floor spawns throughout. You got a chest spawn right up top at the very top of it. Bunch of floor loot spawns all outside on the edges of it, and even inside in some of these little side rooms. Got an MK big shield there. You can drop down. You got a slurp a slurp cannon. More side spawns all through here. You got another chest spawn back here in the back. So, so far, we've really only looted just this one pyramid. And we've already opened, what, three different chests? All these different floor spawns. All kinds of good mats. And that's only in the first pyramid here. We literally have an MK, a blue pump, and a blue SMG just from the one pyramid. Another spawn back here in the back. I think someone's actually trying to push me right now. Huge mistake. Took care of that pretty easily. This guy actually, so I don't, he landed at the pyramid right across from me. And this guy got a purple AK and a gold pump. So already you guys are seeing the potential of Sunny Steps. This guy literally, oh. I literally just fought this guy. Well, that's, my, that's actually probably an AI. But again, here's the side pyramid. We got another chest up top here. So other than AIs, not really contested. You guys can see there's a legendary chest right here. Of the spots we've checked out so far tonight, this one probably has... 
definitely had the best loot so far. I mean, you guys can look at my loadout. It's actually, it's actually pretty insane. I don't know how many chests we've opened so far. I'll put it on the screen right now, but just an insane amount of loot. Holy. By the amount of chests I just opened and the loot I have in my inventory right now, this spot is definitely a really good spot both for solos and for duos as well. The next spot we're going to be showing you guys is pretty close to Sunny Steps. This is on the eastern, kind of northeastern, eastern most part of the map. And it's out here on kind of this random island. Uh, Cuddle Cruisers is actually the name of it. But anyway, a chest underneath the, uh, the staircase here. Another chest up top on the top floor here. And a third chest out back here. Ammo boxes. And it sounds like a, a fourth chest in the side here. So we've already opened up four chests in a very short amount of time. Come down to the bottom here. You got plenty of boats for rotation. Yeah, this looks like to be like a little like cafe, like restaurant. You got like the gas pumps for the boats. Anyway, you got your fishing pole spawns there. Another chest. This is what the fifth chest that we've opened at this spot so far. Insane. Just a very quick loot too. Everything's kind of in a centralized location. Uh, and then you can take the boats and you can fish if you want to. Uh, and you can take the boat straight over here to the pyramid as well. Could be a pretty good little duo spot, a duo split. Maybe one person lands house, one person lands uh, at the pyramids. You got a chest spawn in here inside this little smaller area. And then heading up top into the main. It's called the Ruins is the uh, the name of the area. All kinds of floor loot spawns. Kind of the same, kind of similar vibe as, uh, as Sunny Steps. A lot of floor spawns kind of on the, uh, on the outside. And honestly, this one is set up a little bit different. And the fact that a lot of the chest spawns are actually on the outside. Got a chest inside here. Right up under the staircase. Heading up top, we have another chest. Another chest inside the opposite staircase. Uh, kind of the south side of it by this big tree. Another spawn here. But that's going to do it for that spot. I don't know how many chests that was. That was a good bit between the both the ruins uh and the little restaurant area over there as well giving me really good duo vibes i bet this is a really good spot for you and your teammate to split all right guys that's going to bring us to our last poi for this video and it's right here in the northwestern area of the map and it's right here kind of on top of this mountain this spot does have a vault which adds a little more attraction to it and my man cypher pk has actually made a video about this spot so it usually is contested we got a chest spawn right here in the bottom of the side room. Already have an MK and a shotgun. Go ahead and take that out real quick. I don't think he got to get much of the loot, so we should be chilling. Got some spawns up here on the roof as well. You do have rifts for rotation, which is obviously really nice. A nice a couple uh, a couple spawns out there on the floor as well. We're gonna go ahead and knock this person here. And she is going to help us actually open the vault as a solo player. So as a solo player, if you guys did not know, you can actually use... You can actually use down guards to help you open the vault. Also, a random fact as well, you can also use a chicken. If you guys did not know, you can carry a chicken... And that will count as a solo player as well. Obviously, you guys can see three uh, three mega chests here. Got some ammo. As you can see, a really good, really good spot for solos. If you come up top here, there's a chest spawn here. Also, a chest can actually spawn, I think, inside this little area as well. Yeah, a chest can spawn there as well. So obviously, a really good solo spot. You got some chest spawns. You obviously have the vault, which in itself is, is a, a good reason to land here. You have a reboot van, a bunch of brick, uh, and obviously your, your wrist for rotations as well. But that is actually going to do it for today's video. If you guys want to see some more POIs, uh, we can explore the map a little bit more. If you guys enjoy this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys want to see this again. Maybe what kind of POIs, some other POIs that you guys have found that you guys enjoy. And again, if you guys enjoy this video, if you guys are enjoying the Fortnite content and you want to see more of it, be sure you guys are showing love on these videos. Make sure you're smashing that like button. I would greatly appreciate it if you're not subscribed already. If you guys would smash the subscribe button as well. Make sure those post notifications are on because we are going to be cranking out all kinds of fire Fortnite content for you guys. And if you have your notifications on, obviously you guys are going to get notified every single time we post a video. Also, we stream on Twitch just about every single night. I would love to see you guys stop by the Twitch stream. We got some of the best vibes on Twitch and it's not even close. That link is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.